Hi, this is Tim with Setlist Helper. I'm going to give you a general overview of what the app does. The app is designed really for working musicians to put on their microphone stand and replace their songbook to put your lyrics on. You can also use it for practicing, which I do, um, or just general having your lyrics by your side. It's meant to be like your lyric book or your songbook, whatever you want to call it. Um, so let's start out. This is the home page, which you'll see when you first install the app. The main parts that you'll be using is the set list and the songs. Um, let me go into the songs. And you'll have just, a, this is a song list of whatever songs that you put into here. I'll go over later in the demo how you can get your songs into here. Um, you can do things. You can search for your songs. And they'll appear there. Um, some other interesting things with songs you can sort and filter. Um, so I'm going to have, this, these are the attributes that you can sort by. So I'll sort by artists and it'll change your list there. You can also filter, which means you only get the songs that you want to see. This is useful if you only have, if you mark a song, you can put in the notes or the other that you want to see a certain song. So I'll just do it by title just for simplicity and all the songs that have on in it. And you can see all these songs showed up. You have On the Turning Way, One Slip, Crazy, Shine On Your Crazy Diamonds. And then let's go back up here and I'll clear that filter so all the songs show back up. And all this is stored on the system in your preferences. So if you want to, um, the sort was stored with the artist. I'm going to change it back to title. So now you can get to your set list through the tab here, or you can get to it through your home page. So these are all the set lists that I have. Um, let me go to an interesting one. So you can see that your songs are ordered in an in interesting way. And you, all these songs, if you put the time in, you'll get the total set time, and you'll get a description. These are breaks right here. Um, they would be your set break or you can break them into sets, but you can put your notes and whatever you want to call it. Um, you can use it for a number of things that's useful to you. So if you wanted to reorder these songs, you just hit that and you'll get up. You'll, you'll see this little help dialogue at first. This only comes up the first time, but you can move the songs up and down throughout here to reorder them. And then when you're done reordering, you hit the done button. If you wanted to send the set list uh, via email, you can do this. Click that and you'll get all the different options for sending your set list. Now adding is interesting because you can do three things with it. Adding a new is a brand new song that you don't have in your song catalog. From catalog is all the songs that you have in your catalog that are not in the set list. So right now all the songs that are in the set list are filtered out so I can just check as many as I want and right now these will get put at the end of the set list when I hit add if you wanted to show every single song that you have and add a song twice to set list you can click the show all button you can also search for songs if you have a large catalog so I'm gonna hit add and this will add all the songs I just added at the end of the set list um, now I'm gonna go back uh, to the home page and we're going to do a lyric search. This is how you might get your songs into Setlist Helper. This is one way. Um, I recommend Cordy.com because they have all their songs in Chord Pro format and that's the best format to use in the app because you can do pinch and zoom. It, it zooms the lyrics a little bit better. So let's search for a song. Um, let's just look for Amy and hit search. And you'll see loading at the bottom. And it's looking at this page for the lyrics in the page. So there's no lyrics in the page. You have the search results on there. So you'll see no lyrics found. I'm going to hit Amy right here. And you'll see loading. The page is loading. And once the page is done and the lyrics come up, it'll notice the lyrics there. And you hit add. This will add the song to your song catalog. So you can do this for any number of songs that you have. So um, clicking this button at the top left, that always takes you back to your home page. If you want to get back to the last screen, always use the back button. That's just a side note. 
So just go back to the lyric search real quick. You can search for e-lyrics. That's just a lyrics only, or you could try Ultimate Guitar, which probably has many of the songs that you wanted. When you search Ultimate Guitar, that brings in tab format. Um, you won't get as nice a uh, formatting um, on there. So let's look for a song on there. Carolina. Click the search. And you can click whatever version that you want. And the layers will pay, come up here. Um, once the whole page is loaded, you'll get this add button that comes up. And I hit add, and I get that song added to my library. You'll notice when you add from Ultimate Guitar, you have to do all this sort of scrolling and such because it's the tab is formatted uh, differently than Chord Pro. It's it's using using tab instead of Chord Pro format. So now let's take a look at the sync. The sync is real important because this syncs with www.setlisthelper.com. Make sure you create an account with setlisthelper.com. I'm gonna do a sync right here. If you click this, this is a manual process, so you have to do this. It's essentially backing your lyrics up to the website, and you can view and edit and do whatever you want with your lyrics on the website or on the tablet. And any ed edits that you do on the tablet will go up to the website, and vice versa. If you do edits on the website, it'll see which one was last edited. So if you edit the song last on the website, it'll pull that down to the tablet. So that's a useful feature to back up your lyrics. If you wanted to do another type of backup, you can do the export and import. You'll notice when you click export, it'll tell you which directory. This is typically if you plug your computer into, plug your tablet into your computer, you'll, you'll see a setlist helper folder named right here, setlist helper. You'll see it on the root drive of your tablet. This is where all the songs in TXT file will be put onto your tablet and you can put them on there and back them up in that way. And import does the opposite. You put your text files in there and import your songs back in. Uh, let's go through the preferences. So if you, you'll have less options in the preferences and if you didn't buy it you'll have ads and that sort of thing but you'll get all the song visibility options um, when you buy it. And you notice you, the visibility of, you can show your artists, your genre, your key, and so forth. Um, so you can change your theme. If you wanted to have a light version or the dark version, most people like the dark so they can um, have it at a gig, not so much light going on, plus it doesn't take as much battery. Um, another thing, kind of jumping around, but you'll see at nine set lists here, um, you usually get a cumulative total right here only if you buy the app. That's um, part of that. And you'll see the same thing with songs. If I go back to set list and I go into the set list songs, you'll see a total in there too of your total time 30 songs, 3 breaks. Uh, let's go back into preferences again. Uh, that was your theme. So your air turn pedal or any Bluetooth pedal, there's a cicada, I believe that's how you pronounce it. Um, that can be used here. It's basically a Bluetooth keyboard turned into a pedal. Um, so the up and down arrows is the same thing as using a Bluetooth pair, a pedal on your keyboard. And you have all these options. So if you have the two pedal option, you can scroll up and down in your lyrics with the pedal, previous next lyrics, or scroll down and then next. That's usually the most useful one right here. So uh, I don't have the pedal working right now, but if I go into my lyrics, or actually set list, you want to be in your set list, it should bring up another nice feature. Um, I'm going to start any song, I'll start right here in number three. So going back to the air turn real quick, it'll scroll down and then it'll go next with that option that I've selected. Um, and you'll notice that I can swipe the songs in a set list. So let's go back to the home page. And there is some help that you can get that's the same thing that's on the website. And there's many other features. I'll try to make some more videos for you, but I hope you enjoy the product and get a lot of use on it. My band uses it, and I hope you like it. Thanks. Bye.